Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, Dustin here. So I wanted to do a quick video on our sales over the weekend. We did not get a Saturday ship out. So basically we're going to be looking at everything from Friday afternoon until noon now on Monday, which it's the 26th. Yes, I know the date. All right. So I'm uh, going to run through this really quick. Um, was not a big weekend for us which was we were kind of hoping we were going into it um while we did list quite a bit last week we didn't list as much as we've been listing so to a lot of people it would seem like oh man they listed a lot but uh for us and how we've been pacing it was a little bit slower on our input so i think that kind of hurt our output but over the weekend we've been listing like crazy um so hopefully that uh, shows results next week. Um, so we'll get into total sales at the end. Uh, again, a little bit disappointing, but uh, still grateful for what we've been able to sell. So uh, don't get me wrong on that. Um, we did sell this uh, Prima foam roller. I believe this came from the uh, Ben Sales. It may have came from a thrift because I pick these up new at thrifts all the time. People tend to just buy them and never use them. I, I It seems to be a common theme around... Uh, the thrift stores for me. Uh, so 32 bucks on that shipped. Uh, most of this stuff is shipped. There's a few items that have shipping uh, that the buyer is paying. So uh, just a little note on that. That won't, I mean, it won't be crazy expensive to ship almost any of these things, except maybe the jacket there. So we've got the Pampered Chef here, and uh, that's $29.99 shipped. Uh, actually, that sold within minutes of listing it. I think it was like maybe 15, 20 minutes down the road uh, from listing it. And it had been sitting in our death pile the whole time. It's one of those things too, like our death pile is good stuff. It's just, we I've taken it so much stuff over the last two, two and a half months that it's very difficult to keep up with. But the moment we got that listed, it sold. So uh, that's awesome. Uh, we sold the uh, Launch Hamp Crystal here. Uh, you'll probably notice uh, if you've been watching the other videos, uh, I picked this up at one of the uh, garage sales that I early birded. Um, I don't know. It's Looking at it in more light, we're definitely going to wipe those down before we send them out. Um, these we did, hopefully not advertise as new. Actually, they had told me that they hadn't used them and they were new. So, but no... New other. Okay, yeah, so um, a little bit, I, I left some explanation in there. We should be fine, but we will definitely wipe them down for a customer there. There's been in 35 bucks, so. Uh, $29.99 here uh, on this Honeywell heater. This is the second of four that we've sold from a pallet. Um, we've been sitting on those for about two and, two and a half months waiting for the season, and uh, they are starting to move. You won't be able to see them here. He's wrapped up, but this is Eddie. It's a character from Iron Maiden. I can't remember if this is a McFarlane or not, but it, it's of that style. Um, it's damaged, missing its sword. I think I caused that damage in transport, unfortunately. But I picked that up cheap enough. Um, $19.99. Um, the buyer is paying $3.99 shipping. Uh, I picked that up about two months ago. Um, actually, I have footage of that. It's the uh, first video I ever attempted. I haven't uh, put it up yet. And I actually had the uh, head mount for my GoPro. And I think uh, Harry Tornado says that that's the uh, sign of ultimate confidence or whatever. If you can wear the head mount. And I did. And it, it's really awkward <laughs> when you're wearing it in a normal environment like that. <laughs> but I thought that's how everybody did it, I think. Or I don't even know why I did it like that. We've got the Pandora Limited Edition 2017 Porcelain... So this is a Christmas ornament, and uh, you'll have to believe me because it's in this nice poly bag already, and it's going to stay in there. But it's from Pandora, which I don't know if you can read that or not. Uh, $19.99. I forget where I sourced that, um, honestly, off the top of my head. Um, putter cover. I sold this right after the, uh, I think the OSU went back yesterday for their first, or not yesterday, two days ago. For their first uh, game on Saturday there. And uh, sold this right away. So somebody must have been really hyped up. Like holy cr I've, I've had this on my store forever. Well not forever. For about two two months now. And it sold right after the game. So he must have been pretty hyped about the game's results. Uh, so 
sold that for fifteen seventy four. It was five percent off. Um, around Saturday ish. We decided to throw about 500 items just at random at 5% off just to see if we could boost any sales. So maybe that helped with that item. Who knows? Uh, Rolling Rock hat here. I picked this up for $8, I believe, at the Huber uh, Community Yard Sale. Um, it was pretty cool, and uh, I thought at least $15.95 uh, shipped on that. Not too bad. Um got a replacement Li-On battery for MacBook. It's a specific MacBook, of course. Uh, it's in there. And, and I'm not going to try to open it. <laughs> $29.99, and that is uh, free shipping on that. Uh, it should be a light ship. I think we got it at the bin sale for like a dollar on dollar day because people didn't know what it was, so... I mean, can't really argue with that. Honestly, I'm not going to lie to you. I, I like the bin sale. Really good people. Uh, some of the dollar stuff we pick up moves faster. It's just, I mean, some of it is just stuff that it's lower dollar items, of course. But you can find things that are worth 20, 30 bucks in there for a dollar. And it just seems to be things that people are buying on eBay. It's just maybe that's just how it's been working out for us. This we're going to get shipped today really quick. Uh, priority, try to get that out the door. Uh, Spirit Halloween or Spirit uh, On-Duty Cutie Halloween costume there. 25 bucks for that. Uh, free shipping. We also sold, and it's not shown here because we actually got it out in the mail uh, this morning, um, was a Forrest Gump costume I picked up uh, yesterday. And uh, that we got $64 shipped for, and I have uh, $6 in. So $6 into 60 is how I kind of see it, that 4 bucks towards the shipping. I mean, that's almost, I mean, the shipping's a little more than that, I know that. But it's basically a 10x uh, in one day, so that's pretty awesome. I really hope eBay promised that we'd get it to them by the 31st. Thanks. And, uh... <laughs> Really, eBay's only responsibility they take. So, okay, just a real quick explanation of how this works. So, Fast and Free is one of the many, I guess, promotions that uh, eBay runs, and it's a badge that you can earn on specific listings. So, if your handling time is low and your shipping time is fast, meaning that you're utilizing something that they consider a fast shipping option, then they'll put a Fast and Free badge underneath your uh, listing. Uh, so when they're scrolling through, somebody will see that and they'll be more likely to click on your listing than somebody else's. Well, that guarantee that they give the buyer, eBay only, I guess, guarantees it by giving either A, a refund on your shipping if it doesn't get there on time, or B, a $5 coupon uh, for eBay and the buyer gets to pick. So you're probably, I, I, I don't know, I haven't experienced this yet. And I have eBayed in the past, don't get me wrong, this is just a rebirth of uh, resale for me. Um, yeah, I actually do have experience up ready to the table, so this isn't just rambling. But I haven't experienced this. Have anybody else in the comments where they didn't meet the guarantee and you got negative? Because I could see that occurring. Um, I haven't had that problem, but we're typically pretty fast. We usually ship six days a week, so we're uh, typically pretty fast at responding to people. Uh, and getting their stuff out to them. Just curious. Uh, would be uh, interested to know. Uh, but that's how the fast and free works. And uh, so they don't really guarantee it in the sense that, like, you would think that you're going to be protected as a seller. Gu they're guaranteeing the buyer to get a little bit of a break money-wise if it doesn't get there in time. It's not like your pizza's free if it's not thirty minutes, not there in 30 minutes or less. It's not how it works. We got this Julius uh, Canine Power Harness. I can't remember which day we got this from at the bin sale, but we sold it for 35 bucks, and um, I think it was a $3 day. So three bucks and the 35 shift isn't bad. It probably cost about seven or eight to ship. So not too bad, I'm happy with it. And anytime that bin sale stuff sells, typically, you know, it's pretty nice because it's easy to kind of remember what you had into it. Um, the quick set here, we got this at $5 day. It wasn't the heaviest hitter, but uh, just this weekend on Saturday. And uh, it's going out for $24.99 free shipping. We'll make profit, but it's really fast profit, so I'm okay with it. Um, 
deer foams. Um, I've had these for a little bit now. I don't even remember where I got them from. Uh, and where did I get those from? Yard sale. Oh, yard sale. All right. So uh, twenty three dollars free shipping. Yeah, that's that's right now. I do. Rem yeah, I remember the specific yard sale even cheap. I didn't have much in them at all. Twenty three bucks shipped. I uh, got these uh, actually in an estate sale video that you guys had seen if you've seen it. Obviously, you've seen it if you've seen it. And <laughs> I'm talking a mile a minute here, so this doesn't end up being 25 minutes. Um, it's a recolor uh, Rust-Oleum product. And I bought like a bunch of stuff from this estate sale for like, I want to say it was some kind of one money deal where I think I had like 75 bucks into it or something. So, like, um, I'm past that $75 mark. Anything I sell from them is still profit, is in the, I guess, you know, profitable, uh, realizing a return territory. And uh, we have a lot of this stuff left. So it's cool. And now every time I sell something like that, it's kind of gravy on the deal. Uh, $23.74 free shipping. And that was a quantity list, and he had like five of them, but one of them was ruined. So I ended up uh, pitching it. This is a uh, parka. Um, I found this is actually military issue here. It's not something that I had when I was in. Um, I don't know where and who uh, would receive such a coat. Maybe somebody stationed in Alaska. Really, I have no clue. I've sold other cold weather stuff from the military that's heavier duty than what I've had. <laughs> but I saw this at Goodwill. And uh, good, it's one, it's, uh, Goodwill I don't feature much on the channel. Uh, probably have no reason to usually as their prices are pretty high. But right by the register, they had a jacket display about two months ago. Still 90 degrees out and stuff every day. Um, and I saw this bad boy here for like seven bucks and I knew it was worth it. So, uh, $92 and 99 cents on this guy. And the buyer is paying $30 and 23 sh cents, uh, shipping on it. Uh, so it's definitely a very profitable item for us. I think it'll ship for like 20 to 25 bucks. So that's going to pay even less maybe. So that's going to pay for some of those packing supplies on this stuff. Uh, so pretty happy about that. So I've sold, we've been doing these light bulbs. We have both 75 and 100 watts here. Um, I got this at the community yard sale. And um, we actually, I think we might be one of the cheapest light bulbs or something right now. Um, I had like $7 into like almost 30 of them. And we have um, somebody that purchased, uh, this is nice because uh, it'll all go in one ship. Um, a quantity uh, of two of the 75 watt. So that means they're getting four packages. A quantity of two of the 100 watts. So that means they're getting four packages. And then somebody almost immediately afterwards bought a, a one set, which is two of the uh, 100 watts there. So $29.98, $29.98, and $14.99. It is free shipping, but when you have such little cost in the product, uh, it's not so bad. And uh, light bulbs, I have good luck with them. I'd prefer if they were GEs. I'd move GE A19s even faster than these, but for the price, I, I, I saw opportunity, so I uh, went for it. And uh, Doc Martens here. So I've had these. Actually, um, I got that at the same sale I got Eddie. So uh, that's the, I guess that stuff had uh, just slipped out of our hands a little bit uh, and went into the death pile. Uh, these boots sold the same day they were listed, which was yesterday. And they're the uh, Airwalks or whatever. Air, yeah. And uh, these are pretty popular boots, guys. Uh, $59.99 on them. Free shipping. I think I had $5 in them. So uh, they are size 12, so they're a little bit on the larger side, which I know other people have mentioned this in the past, uh, tend to do better on eBay. I, I, I've noticed that too, I, I, anecdotally. So uh, yeah, pretty awesome that uh, they sold so quickly. Uh, if we had listed them earlier, they probably already would have been sold. Um, got the ink here. It's a Kodak ink. I think it's expired, but I don't know. And uh, right off the top of my head, $11.99 on it. This came from the bin sale. I don't know which day, actually. If it was dollar, $3 or 5 Actually, this was $5 day two weeks ago. 
So we've only had it two weeks. Uh, ben Sale over at MVP. And 94.99 on this guy. And it's a digital hi-fi amplifier. So it's like supports Blu-ray, HD, DVD, high definition format, uh, USB decoding. I mean, it's stuff that I don't do. Uh, so $94.99 free shipping on that from a $5 item. Uh, I would take that all day. Uh, so that's actually a really good one from uh, the bin sales. This I picked up at one of the uh, recent estate sale videos. It's a swing away vintage wall can opener. So I have like a dollar into this. It's uh, 30 bucks free shipping. So uh, pretty happy about that new dead stock. And I've uh, got the Connect Rush Pixar game here. Disney Pixar uh, game, obviously for the Connect. It's for the Xbox 360. This one's a bolo, uh, relatively uncommon. I, it took a while to sell, probably about two months, but still, I didn't have much into it, very little. And uh, $22.99 free shipping, guys. So I would take, I would be on the lookout for that because those Connect games tend to be undervalued and people are just throwing them out on their yard sale tables for really cheap. Uh, you could probably find it at the thrift store and other resellers will just pass it by. Um, but they're worth looking into. Um, the T25 is right here. So we got this in on a return. I swear to you, I thought it had all the discs. The guy seemed really legit about it missing one of the discs and the amount of time he spent kind of going back and forth explaining things to us uh, makes me think he was legit. He sent it back. We uh, have resold it for $32.99 with it being denoted that it's missing one of the discs. So uh, the T25 has been sold again. $32.99 on it, hopefully to its final buyer, at least from us. They can do whatever they want with it. It's theirs afterwards. And last but not least, we've sold these uh, pure uh, three-stage water filters. I had a $1.50 in, in these uh, from the uh, thrift store, uh, the American Thrift. And uh, even denoted, I remember listening as I denoted in the title that it had a worn box which it does, uh, $18.99. So I undercut everybody that had theirs boxed in pristine boxes by about two or three bucks. Could do that because I had so little into it. Uh, $18.99 free shipping. So uh, overall, I had mentioned that this weekend was a little bit lower. So last weekend was a little bit lower than we wanted it to be too. Um, however, I know we're going to have a huge spike coming soon with the holiday season coming up. Um, I, it's just obvious it's going to happen. We have so much more inventory to list. So I know the strategy is going to be list more, list more, list more. And the more we do that, the more that we're going to see growth uh, in our sales and the bounce back. Um, we did 898 in sales uh, total gross from Friday uh, afternoon to Monday at noon. So roughly three to three days roughly um and that is definitely uh, uh below standard and where we want to be with things but we just keep getting in new inventory and keep listing and keep listing uh you can list you uh, basically the only thing you really can try to do is list your way out of it um uh, impressions were down 10 percent from the week prior which i'm pretty certain those were down as well from the other weeks that we have had uh, greater success but it doesn't feel it doesn't feel like there's anything like eBay's targeting our account or anything silly like that because it's not like you sometimes hear the anecdotes and the stories of people getting drops of like 70, 80 percent of their impressions going away. That's not really what's happening in our case. So I'm not too worried about it. I think you know it's gonna bounce back, uh, you know, changing of the seasons and everything, and we're gonna make some money. So uh, with that being said, guys. Really appreciate everybody coming out and uh, watching today. It's been awesome. I uh, just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an overview and a little bit of background. Um, I'd like to eventually do a by the numbers video and get a little bit more in depth. If that's something that you guys would want to see, let me know in the comments uh, where I can, you know, maybe talk about what our total numbers are and uh, give you guys a little bit deeper background. Um, so, yeah, uh, with that being said, if you haven't uh, already, uh, like the video, maybe subscribe to my channel if you're new and you enjoy the content, and I'll see you guys later.